Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. You caught me thinking about my favorite comics and manga of the year that you haven't read yet. Sure, Saga had one of the best cliffhangers in comic book history. Tilly Walden continues to be a 22-year-old comic book genius. And Batman and Catwoman kind of got married. But these comics do something a little bit differently. Here are our favorite comics and manga of 2018. The Lion How We Told Them by Tommy Parrish is an Australian indie comic about two former best friends who reunite one night and try to salvage their lost friendship. In a beautifully painted art style, Parrish presents an emotional tale encompassing queer desire, masculinity, and the evolving nature of friendships, romance, and ourselves. Satoko and Nara is a wonderfully wholesome for sale manga series about a Japanese and Islamic woman living together in America. This is a light-hearted series about female friendships, multiculturalism, and learning about Japanese and Islamic customs and cultures, with probably one of the few Muslim representations in Japanese comics. Every so often, there's a Marvel comic that stands out from the traditional superhero narrative that we've come to expect. While the Marvel Cinematic Universe has stressed the humanity of Hulk, Al Ewing's and Joe Bennett's The Immortal Hulk explores the monster as an allusion to mental health. This is a horror comic in a superhero setting, and you need to read it. Now. Dead 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 Demon's Destruction, or however you want to pronounce it, is the latest series by surrealist horror mangaka Inio Asano. It follows the mundane lives of high school girls after an alien spaceship crash lands on Earth. If you're looking for the next character-driven, surrealist, yet realist drama, this is the one for you. Next up is the fantastic bottom sequel to my favourite superhero team of all time in Rainbow Rowell's Runaways. If you're looking for a superhero comic that's pumped with millennial savvy charm, lovely goofy characters and a gorgeously delicious art style, this one's for you. From the creator of Princess Jellyfish comes a new Jose comedy manga about the emotional journey of being single and directionless in your 30s. After she realizes she spent her 20s wondering about what-if scenarios, a 30-year-old film producer and her friends are determined to find a husband before the Tokyo Olympics in six years. This is a manga for people who have ever been deluded by ideas of love and romance, always punted what-if scenarios, and looking for the next slow burn drama comedy. Ezra Clayton Daniels' Upgrade Soul is a graphic novel that addresses what it means to be human and the pursuit of scientific discovery over one's morals. After an experiment to extend their lives goes horribly wrong, an old married couple is confronted by their physically disfigured yet intellectually and physically superior clones. In a bleak and uneasily captivating art style, Daniels poses an incredible critique on morality, age, and identity in an ever-changing scientific world. Radiant is the love child of Fairy Tale, Hunter x Hunter, and One Piece. In a world overrun by monsters called Nemesis, Seth, a young boy cursed with demon horns yet incredible magical abilities, hopes to one day be the greatest wizard and take down them all. If you're looking for another shonen series with lovely goofy characters, intense action, and an art design that pays homage to deviant art and shonen manga in reality, this one's for you. Heavy Vinyl is an endearingly adorable YA comic about an all-female vinyl record store that secretly operates as a fight club against crime. This is a lighthearted, nostalgic comic about female friendships, a blossoming queer romance, and fighting the patriarchy punch by punch. Ron and the Grey World is a whimsically magical new slice of life series, perfect for fans of Ancient Magus Pride and the Flying Witch. Ron is a rebellious young girl who yearns to grow up to be like her magical deity mother. After discovering an ancient pair of sneakers that transform her into a powerful adult witch, Ron goes on magical adventures exploring the world. If that doesn't sell you, Aki Ire's beautiful art surely will. So, those are our favourite comics and manga of 2018. What were yours? Let us know in the comments below. For more comics, manga and performing arts news, make sure to follow our social media and come into Kinokunya, the top floor of galleries in Sydney's Town Hall. Until next time, 